Hi, welcome to another automation video using make.com. But this one is very special because normally, if you have seen, you cannot post an image to Twitter using make.com. The latest X module doesn't allow you to upload media. So here we are going to show you how we can upload media to X along with our posts. So this is the scenario that we are going to see today. And here we have Google Sheet and a HTTP request and X module, another X module, and then Google Sheet and a break module. So we will go over these items one by one in depth. But before that, let's run and see what happens. So, okay, so this is our X account. Now let's let's run the scenario and see what happens. Run once. It got one record. And the scenario ran OK. Let's refresh this. Let's refresh the X account. And if you notice that 21 seconds back, one image and a text got posted. So, so this is what we are going to see today, how we can upload media into X along with our tweet. Okay, so let's get started. I want to tell you that for each of our videos that we are uploading, we also provide a free ebook which you can download, which will, which will contain all the items step by step for you to follow and implement for your automation needs. Okay, so this is how the PDF looks. It has got the image of the scenario and the sample post. Then the input Google document. And every module is opened and explained. Every item is explained. So how do you get access to this document? We have a community section which is free for you to log in. And the link is in the description where I want all of you to join our community so that we can share our thoughts, we can share our ideas and automation uh, exercises together. So automation journey together. Okay, so let's come back to our scenario and check each item. So what is the first thing? First thing is reading a Google Sheets document. And there, we are checking if a field image URL is existing and field X posted is not yes, so that we don't duplicate the posting. So let's look at our document. So here we have X posted. Currently it is yes. So we will change it to no for now. Okay, and then we have image URL available here and question. So then we have image URL available here. Now these posts are created through another make automation for which we have already published the video which is available in the YouTube and as well as in our community section. So for this, we will pick the image URL from the Google Sheet. Okay, so let's come back to our scenario. Here we have an HTTP request module. What is this for? It picks up the image URL and converts it into image data, binary data. Mm. And here it is important to provide a filter so that we don't unnecessarily waste operations. So we proceed only when we get at least one row here. Next is, is the secret where in order for you to upload image to X, you need to use an older version of X. Okay, so this is an older version of X. So here X version 5 we are using is to upload image as a post. So here we upload, uh, we get this get file binary data and upload it to X. Okay, so here if you see, 
we have the binary data. And, and here if you see, the binary data is uploaded and then what is the output? Output, we get a media ID returned by X. So with the X version 5 module, okay, X, X version 5, V5 version 5 module, we upload the image and get a media ID. And then this is the latest X module to post text. But here, we can provide the media ID. You see this? So this media ID comes from this module. And also, you can add text, whatever text within the stipulated length, you can provide the text and this uh, text topic. And in, in this case, topic is coming from column A of our Google Doc. So in this Google Sheet, column A is the topic. Okay, tips for successful life. So tips for successful life gets added. That is it. This is a simple scenario, but this is not well documented. It is not well known to automation professionals how we can post image to X. So after that, what is this doing? Here we update back the X posted column saying yes, so that this image doesn't get posted again. And here we have a break module just to show that it is important to add break modules in our scenario so that in case for any reason Google is busy or not available, it will retry after 15 minutes three times. Okay. So, so here again, we should put the uh, error handler break module so that it will retry three times fetching the image. Here also, let's put the error handler so that uploading the image to X also will be retried in case if it's not available. And also it's a good practice to add a filter here so that only after a successful upload, we proceed to this section. So condition, we can put media ID exists. Okay, so if media ID exists, we proceed. And here, what is the output? Post ID. So here, also we'll uh, place a condition so that if post ID exists, then only we'll update the Google Doc. Okay. So let's tidy it up. So, okay, so let's tidy this up. So this is how the scenario looks. So this is a fail safe scenario. Okay, so remember, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and give you a valuable comment. So please join our community, which is free. You can get access to the uh, PDF containing all the items and also links to our resources for you to download. See you again with another such automation tips. Bye-bye.